How's it going all about the U83? You seem like a nice guy. You really do. Um, and I hope tomorrow you're visiting Lincoln, Nebraska to watch your Miami Hurricanes take on my Nebraska Cornhuskers. And what I'm going to assume is going to turn out to be quite an amazing game. Uh, it's awesome. Right now the standing is you guys have five wins, Nebraska has five wins. Uh, so pretty much whoever wins this game gets the winning percentage for another year. Uh, which I wish your team the best of luck. I really do. Um, but serious answer to your serious question. Just checked. Trophy cases. All clean. No dust. Uh, I guess we got some pretty good janitors. Uh, sorry. Custodians. We take great care uh, to make sure there is no dust and to make sure all of our trophy cases as well as our trophy rooms uh, are clean and presentable to visitors. Uh, we like to show our goods at Nebraska uh, to make sure they're clean. No STDs. Uh, not that I'm saying you have any. You probably don't. Uh, also, we sleep quite peacefully at night. Uh, I know for myself, as well as a lot of other people, we've never had woken up from a nightmare about hurricanes. I'm pretty sure half the state doesn't know what a hurricane is. Because we don't get those things in the Midwest. I know like you guys in Florida and all up the East Coast and Gulf Coast, hurricanes are like a big deal. We got tornadoes. Those are kind of scary. Um, or as we like to call it in Nebraska, the red storm. Uh, very scary. I've woken up from a couple nightmares about those. Um, very scary. Very scary. Um, also, you brought up about dancing in cornfields. Man, don't knock it till you try it. I mean, for one, just go crack some beers open, turn on some air church, and go in the cornfield and dance. It's heavenly. It's heavenly. Life changer. Just have some fun, man. You know what? In fact, I'm going to go do it right after this. And it's raining outside. It's raining. Dancing at Eric Church, drinking some beers in a cornfield while it's raining. Magical night. Um, he also brought up about Bo Pelini's uh, cat. You might want to lock your doors. Uh, we, we still think Carl Pelini lives down in Florida. So we're not for sure, but I, I would lock your doors just to make sure. Safety precaution. Now about those players you brought up, Lawrence Phillips and Richie Incognito, are bad, are bad. Who would have known? Richie Incognito though, we did kick him off our team before his senior year, so he did transfer Oregon, so Oregon's kind of two. Uh, but let's bring up a couple of your players. Ray Lewis, killed the guy. Okay, he le legit he killed the guy, never convicted, but you know. He was playing in the NFL at that time, so they kind of scooped it under the table and said, not guilty, uh, as well as Michael Irvin. He didn't kill a guy, though. Uh, I love Michael Irvin because he played for my Dallas Cowboys. I love him. But that guy loved his Bunker Sugar a lot. As well as some other things. You brought up, you know, about Tom Osborne allowing things to happen, but I'm just going to read a news article real quick about this. Uh, 1994... Going into 1995, you guys lost 24 scholarships, as well as a one-year bull ban for uh, some penalties that you described in uh, how Tom Osborne handled this situation. I'm just going to name off a few. Uh, the NCAA found that Miami football players from 1986 to 1994 were paid between $20 and $200 for uh, touchdowns and vicious hits against opposing teams. It is what it is. <laughs> See what else? Sexual misconduct, uh, a dozen arrests, alcohol abuse, drug abuse, guns in uh, the football dorm. Wow! I bet that was a cool. I bet that was really cool. Uh, as well as loopholes in the drug testing policy policy for uh, performance enhancing drugs, and as well as cocaine and stuff. It's probably why Dennis Erickson left. Uh, didn't want to be found guilty and I getting taken away scholarships and stuff. It, it is what it is. And you, your phrases about Tom Osborne 
were pretty much blasphemous. Um, saying he's worse than Joe Paterno? A hundred out of a hundred people are going to go against you on that. Joe Paterno hid child abuse for years. Years. That's not good, man. Not good. Um, and now you got to remember about something. Tom Osborne, he's kind of sitting on that college football playoff committee. So when a Miami Hurricanes discussion comes around, I'm pretty sure he can just go, eh, I don't think. And you brought up also the fact that we almost lost to McNeese State. Last time I checked, we won. A win is a win. I mean, you guys did almost lose to Louisville. Uh, oh, wait. You did lose to Louisville. A loss is a loss, right? Whatever. Um, so, closing statement. I hope it's a good game. I wish your team the best of luck. Uh, tomorrow. Um, I hope you're visiting Lincoln. Uh, go get some runzas or some Valentinos at the stadium. Delicious. Uh, and tomorrow night we'll see the outcome. Uh, till then, have a great day, buddy.